the Jacksonville Jaguars were on the clock, 17th overall, but they traded down as Tony Khan becomes the first ever NFL executive in a draft room, shaking off the effects of a pile driver he received oh, wow. on national television in a wrestling <laughs> ring the night before. Such is life when you mix AEW and the NFL. Tony Khan, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. That's it in the draft room of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, if they like the pick in the room, fist bump, okay? <laughs> Nothing else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fist bump. Well, the commissioner yeah. just had back surgery. Yeah. Tony took a pile driver, they, you know, from Jack Perry. Commissioner the rag doll, J.C. Hey. Latham. All right, here's the commissioner with the Jaguars' first pick here in Detroit. With the 23rd pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select... Brian Thomas Jr., wide receiver, LSU. Okay, so that makes three LSU Tigers. And so Jaden Daniels, two prime targets, are now out of the green room. And I guess he's entering the teal room now in uh, Duval County. Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU is going to go catch passes from Trevor Lawrence. Out goes Calvin Ridley, and they replace him via the draft here with a very explosive high-flying receiver in Brian Thomas Jr. That LSU offense, we've talked about Jaden Daniels, we've talked about neighbors. This dude's no slouch now. He put up huge numbers, and most of it deep down the field, a true vertical weapon. See him walking towards the stage here, Joel. He was 17 touchdowns. Yeah, all right. So it wasn't all just because Malik Neighbors on the other side. This kid created as well. It, it loves football. He was an all-state basketball player in high school and actually gave basketball up. Why? For his first love, which is football. And that obviously catapulted him in the recruiting ranks. And yes, it, did he benefit a little bit from having sure. Malik Neighbors on the other? Sure. Yes, but but he has so much speed. And that offense, it was just beautiful to watch. This is a big reason why Jaden Daniels had 100 explosive plays between his own runs and then throwing the ball to these Don't two guys. Don't go him a shallow cross and expect to go get it really easily. Yeah, he is silky smooth. And the tracking skills down the field, that is his secret sauce. The ability to not only get up to that top speed, but locate and track the ball and make those big plays for his quarterback. Here's that vertical gear. I think about guys when the ball goes up, look at the separation. You're, you're even, you're leaving when you're watching him. You can be in great coverage once that ball goes up. He can tap into another gear. Also down in the red zone, he can play above the rim. He can really elevate and jump. The catch radius gives you a friendly target. You can be a little bit of miss, and he can still haul the ball in with that length as well as that big-time speed. Contact strength. Usually you get these flyers, these speed merchants. They can't play through contact. He does have that ability. He was a number four wide receiver for me in this draft, and I love this fit here. Out goes Calvin Ridley. In comes Brian Thomas Jr. And in comes Ian Rappaport. Ian? If DJ Nano, this is why this was such a big need. The Jacksonville Jaguars, for about two days in free agency, thought they were keeping Calvin Ridley till the Tennessee Titans swooped in with a massive, massive deal for a 29-year-old receiver. He goes out. They also had, my understanding, is one trade call with the 49ers centered around Brandon Ayuk. It seems the 49ers trying to get a deal done with him, maybe keep him so the Jaguars. So you know what? We are going to take a replacement Brian Thomas, a super talented receiver.